This is the Huawei Watch 2 with LTE. So when you open it up, uh, you take off the strap, and then you can see there's an LTE SIM card slot. Whoa, that's cool. That has the longest battery life for an LTE smartwatch. And the idea here is that you can use the same SIM card for um, two different devices. So you can have the same phone number, same phone number on your phone and um, uh, on your watch, sharing the same contract. I'm not sure how they're going to do that with the, with the carriers, but that's the idea of this one. So you can be always connected. You don't need to have your phone. You can actually do everything only with a watch, potentially. So it has a LTE modem. It's crazy. So this is a... Twenty-one days in this mode with the screen on. But not this bright, no. Twenty-one days, like bright, like this. No lower brightness. Oh, like auto detect. When you change your wrist a little bit. Twenty-one days standby. That's really long. Nice, you go in watch mode. That's very cool. LTE for 379 euros. You can add a SIM card in your watch. And be always connected, go out for running. Uh, is it waterproof? You can go in the water a little bit, it's splash proof at least. Resistance. But not for swimming. And the AMOLED 399, 390 by 390 AMOLED display is a Qualcomm CPU, you know? It's not a high silicon chip. CPU is a Qualcomm, I guess. Qualcomm. But it's not the same. Is it the same as before? It's a new one. New one. So this is a quad core Qualcomm with LTE. Very cool. And there's many other functions with the Android Wear 2.0, right? They also added two buttons. So top button for something, this button button for back home. And this one is some menu. Or so you can choose whatever shortcut you like. If you want heart rate, if you want something else. And if you're on this one. Yes. And the apps are... So the apps are smart. There. 